Alright guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to do an update or a part two to the story I did yesterday, which was titled, Newlywed Has a Meltdown After Husband Gathers Proof of Her Cheating, etc., etc. And guys, that story, that did quite well. And as it turned out, this guy did an update. Nobody told me about the update, but I just happened to look this morning, and there it was. So I figured you guys would like to hear what was going on next. And as a quick recap, that's about the guy who, in my opinion, rushed into a marriage with a gal he really didn't know, met her at a wedding. Terrible idea, because already the idea of getting married is already in her head. It's already planted in there. They knew each other for two years, and he popped the question way too quick. Got married less than a year later, and immediately after they got married. She's going on girls trips. She's always on her phone and guarding it. She's being rude to him. And the SCX came to a screeching halt. All red flags. Eventually it gets to be too much and he discovers that she's cheating. He found that she had a, a second phone hidden away in her car, but he was smart enough to keep his cool in the moment. Got all this proof of her cheating. Got all the copies. Reached out to an attorney. He's, it turns out he's in a no fault state. Therefore she's at fault. Or excuse me, my bad. They, they live in an at-fault state. Therefore, she's the one that screwed up the marriage. He's got all the proof. And after some back and forth, he found out that he, she was hooking up with a so-called friend. You know, an acquaintance of his, but nevertheless in the friendship circle. And he dropped the bomb on her. And she was having a freaking meltdown, and he kicked her out. Now we're on to the update here as to what happens next with her, with her family, and him. And also the dude that was hooking up with her, he has a fiancé. That's pretty fun. And by the way, guys, as you can see, and probably hear by the acoustics here that uh, I'm in a different vehicle today. Regular cars in the shops so I got to do in here. The volume and the acoustics obviously aren't the same as my other mobile studio, but I'm doing, got the show must go on, so I'll do it in here. But I always prefer the other car. So it continues on. He says here, hello all. And let me first thank you all, those that commented it or messaged me. I truly appreciate the praise and advice that you all have given. I've tried to keep up with some of the comments, so if I didn't answer yours, I'm sorry. I hope I answered more of the common questions you all had asked in this update. If you haven't read the first part of my page, it's still there. Yeah, this guy, he got a lot of comments from people helping him out. And that's great, because these things are great for support. Uh, I, after I posted the first part of this, you've all given me a ton of advice, so I follow most of it. This morning, I plan on doing a bit of the damage control in my life. So I scheduled an appointment with my doctor to get checked for STDs, and I have an appointment in two days. Very smart. Uh, next, I started contacting all the people close to me, my father, and a few friends. They've all been really supportive, offering their own advice, and asking if I need help with anything, but as I got this shit. On the unlock, as I decline. I then started to contact her family. I sent a text to her mom and dad, thanking them for allowing me into their family, and that I was grateful for all they had done for me. But Em and I were getting divorced, and that I would miss them terribly. And then he says in parentheses, well, not really. They were very suffocating, and while they're great people, I'm happy I no longer have to deal with that. That's why they call the in-laws the outlaws. You deal with them, but uh, some are cool, some are royal pain in the ass. Uh, it says here, I then told them that if they had any questions, feel free to ask. I didn't hear back from them for a while, so I moved on to M's sister. This kind of hurt because her sister and I were good friends, and I knew this would mess up that friendship. There's going to be no friendship with him and her sister going forward at all. Even if the sister is actually reasonable and realizes her, her sister screwed up the marriage, still, she's, the odds are she's going to stick with her. And also, his soon-to-be ex-wife, no doubt, is going to fill her sister's head with so much BS, because remember... It got so bad in their marriage that it was always tit for tat. She was being an a-hole to him, so he stopped kissing her goodbye, doing all these things, which would give her ammo to blame it all on him. So, cut your losses. There's no friendship. Or, maybe if she's hot, you can nail her sister. That'd be some good payback. Um, <clears throat> I texted her, Hey, I'm sorry I have to text you this, but Em and I are going to get divorced, and I wanted you to know. I want to think... I think you... I want to... Thank you. <clears throat> he wrote this wrong. I want to thank you from day one you, as you accepted me as a brother. I'll be around if you ever need anything from me. Around the time I sent the text, her parents responded back. I'll type up how the conversation went. Now, this is the whole how things went down with her parents and him. And this is to, not going to surprise any of you. The parents said, we are so sorry to hear what happened. Why hasn't M said anything to us? So the parents don't know yet. 
He says to them, Emma's been in at least a year-long affair. I suspect it started before our wedding. I'm, un I'm unsure why she hasn't reached out, but I think you should call her, and she left the house. I figured she would have gone to you. The parents said, no, we haven't heard from her at all. We'll call her. Thanks for letting us know. Are you sure she was having an affair? And he says, I'm positive I found their text. I, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised your parents are asking that question, but do you really think he ended with her if he didn't have proof of this? And I'd be like, hey, you want the proof? I can show you the text. I'll drop him off. They said to him, we are so sorry that she did what she did. We'll try to get in touch with her. He continues, he says, after dealing with her family, I moved on to Jay's fiance. Jay's a scumbag that was cheating with her. I can't remember if I told you this, that he is engaged in the first part, and I know it was brought up in some of the comments. I thought this was going to be difficult, that M and Jay would have to conspire some master plan, but either M didn't tell him, or I found out, and they were just idiots. I sent his fiance a text around 2 p.m. and asked if we could meet for coffee or something. By 2.05, she agreed and told me to meet her son at some gross hipster coffee shop across town from work. And at 2.30, I arrived. At first, I ordered my horrible coffee and waited for a few minutes. She walked in and ordered hers and came and joined me. I told her, there's no easy way to say what I have to say or what I'm about to tell you, so I'm just going to blurt out. Jay has been cheating on you. We're cheating on you with my wife, and it's been going on for more than a year. She was obviously shocked, so I then told her I only found out a few days ago, and I should have told you then, but I had a divorce to get started and my own pity to deal with. He doesn't owe her an explanation. He's dealing with his own shit. She's fortunate he's telling her. She asked how I found out, and I told her everything that's in the first post, and then I asked if she wanted to see the evidence that I gathered and pulled out a binder. She grabbed the binder and skimmed through the messages and pictures and just started to silently cry. I told her she's more than welcome to take the binder extra copies if she wanted to com comfort Jay with it or confront Jay with it or use it to see if he would lie. She thanked me, stood up, and took the binder. And I told her she needs anything for me, let me know, and she nodded her head and walked out looking very defeated. I think it certainly warranted the scumbag that was cheating with this guy's wife have his gal know about this because they're only engaged, so that's good. It'll be easy for her to get away. But uh, this guy knew it. She was... This guy knew what he was doing with this guy's wife. So he deserves this. He goes on here and says, I know you all told me to just stay sober, keep a level head, and whatnot. But my world just came crashing down on my head. I'm going to take this week off to sit on my back porch, drink, smoke cigars, and blare music. After this week, I'll stop feeling sorry for myself, get back to my usual schedule. If that's what it takes to get this guy to heal, take a week off, drink... Scream, blare, blare, blare loud music, whatever, fine. But then after a week of it, of the morning, move on. The problem is a lot of these guys, they drown themselves in alcohol or, or worse, and it becomes a vicious cycle. This guy need, needs to stay sharp. But if, if he knows himself, this is what it's going to take, fine. Just be careful. <clears throat> on a more positive note, I've already packed up most of her things, clothes, jewelry, etc., I also threw our wedding book and every photo that was with her in the boxes. If and when she comes back for her stuff, I don't want her here any longer than she needs to be. Also, before you ask, no, I didn't ruin her clothes other than a few picture frames, nothing broken. As of right now, there's nothing else happening. I told everyone I need to tell. My doctor's appointment is scheduled. My lawyer is hard at work to get me out of this nonsense. And 90% of her things are in boxes. I really don't know what is left, and she stays out of my hair. This might be the smoothest divorce ever. Thank you for reading. Advice is always appreciated. So, this guy, given the circumstances, is really handling this like a boss. That's what I said in yesterday's video. And he let everybody know, and it's interesting that nobody knows about this. So I'm going to be very curious to see how this plays out when his ex is finally going to pop up, because she's completely gone, she's completely disappeared. Parents don't know. Sister doesn't know. He hasn't heard from her since he kicked her out. She's no doubt with Jay. And if you think that this guy Jay is going to be her uh, her guy after this, you're out of your freaking mind. But it would certainly be warranted and be karma if this guy then kicks her to the curb, which we all know darn well how these Chad and Tyrone's roll. And I'm convinced she's going to come back begging and pleading for a second chance. And there's no way this guy's going to have it. But this guy likes to do updates, so I'll be keeping an eye out for that. And before I wrap this up, a few comments here, because it's always fun to read. 
One guy says here, so she has fled and you've had no contact. Sort of shows how much he valued your relationship. Even if you were not talking, ta taking her back, you would think she valued you at all. She'd be begging for your forgiveness. S suppose it isn't Suppose it's consistent with her cheating behavior. Good. See someone on here taking decisive action and not procrastinating or blame themselves. Yeah, well, I'm convinced she'll be back begging and pleading very soon. Another guy says, OP, uh, sorry you're going to go through this situation. It's the one club nobody wants to be a part of. You've done very well getting out of ahead of this situation. Uh, you, you preemptively set the narrative. Your soon-to-be ex-wife seems to have stuck her head in the sand and hoped this whole situation would blow over. Kind of sounds like that. The fact that your wife has went completely radio silent proves that she didn't care, love, or respect you. She moved on before you even got married. Not sure why she even got married if she was having an affair prior to the ceremony. Sounds like she got off on deceiving you. That was the honeymoon phase of the marriage. It would only have gotten worse with time. Yeah, it would have gotten worse with time. Thank God... They don't have any kids. And I hope that she doesn't get pregnant from Jay now and then come crawling back saying, I'm pregnant. You, we have a child. To, we're going to have a child together trying to get him to change his mind, even though it's probably Jay's child or something like that. But the guy said, why did she get married if she was having the affair? I'll tell you why. Because this guy is the guy she thought she could settle down with. That'd be good to her and all that. Meanwhile, she'd go have her fun on the side. That's how these things work nowadays. She's in her 20s, want to get that ring, Want to have her white dress, her magical day. She got it. And this guy rushed things along. That's why I say, take years to get to know your girl. And I went through that whole thing in the last video. You guys know my opinion on that. He continues on. He says, uh, she is nasty. She literally just came out, came from his house. Uh, more, like, more than likely getting her back blown out. And she wanted you to take her into the bedroom for sloppy seconds. Disgusting. Like that was going to make up for the long time dead bedroom situation. Please. Good on you, preemptively getting her shit packed. Put in the garage. Other than some furniture, it should expedite the move-out process. The affair is more of a relationship with how long it went on. Look for her and Jay to make to make a go of it now that Jay's fiance will be breaking up. Good. They deserve each other. Godspeed, OP. Yeah, she's going to try a relationship with Jay, but it's not going to work. And last one, this guy says here, Maybe a little petty, it might, but it might be a nice surprise if you destroy all the wedding photos for her to discover as she unpacks her things. Also, I think it's strange you haven't heard from her at all. I wonder what tale she's spending to her sister and friends. At least you've got printed copies as evidence that you can hand out when you need to. Yeah, guarantee you they're all getting a different story. Guarantee. That's how these things usually go. But as tempting as it is to destroy her stuff, that's only going to give her ammo. That's only going to give her ammo to say, see... Look how he's acting. This is why I had to cheat, because he's abusive or something like that. So therefore, he shouldn't do anything that can give her any excuse, any reason to justify her actions. He'll feel good for a moment destroying the wedding pictures, and maybe setting her bra on fire, I don't know what, but it's not a good idea. The best thing this guy can do is not give her drama, which she would want. To be cold and quiet, he needs to not have any communication with her at all, except through his attorney. <clears throat> and he better listen to his attorney and go from there. And the less he talks to her and he doesn't give her any drama, the more it's going to make her nuts. Because women feed on drama. It's just, it is what it is. And that's what they want. So this guy's got to play it cool. And hopefully soon it's over and done with because they're in an at-fault state and she's at fault. Hopefully he can get through this thing very quickly and smoothly and start over. And not make the same mistake again, rushing into things and all that. And I don't think he will. I will definitely... Uh, Keep an eye on this. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me just think about this. Let this guy know what you think in the comment section. You never know. You might read this. And also, guys, you come across a good story like to share, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it, and I definitely will want to get the chance. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.